Hello, welcome back to another episode of Chairside Live. I'm Dr. Justin Chi, Clinical Research Associate and a member of the team of practicing dentists here at Glidewell Laboratories. Today we have a very interesting case presentation by Dr. Charles Schlesinger. In this case, Dr. Schlesinger extracts tooth number 10, which has a very large periapical lesion and replaces it with a Han tapered implant. He also shows us how he grasps the site and prepares the patient for an excellent resolution to a difficult problem. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Schlesinger. Today I'd like to share with you an interesting case where we had a patient with a maxillary lateral incisor that had failed endodontic treatment and a resultant large periapical lesion. I hope you enjoy this case presentation. This patient presented to the office with a chief complaint of a draining fistula above tooth number 10. Clinically, the tooth had had previous endodontic treatment, a large post, and an ill-fitting PFM restoration. When we palpated tooth number 10, we also found that it had a plus one mobility. The radiograph confirmed the suspicions of failing endodontics, and with the very large post present, the possibility of a root fracture could not be ruled out. All treatment options were discussed with the patient, and she ultimately decided on extraction and an implant placement. After profound anesthesia was achieved, a spade proximator followed by a sharp beaked forcep was used to remove the tooth. It is very important to preserve both the hard and soft tissue when trying to place an implant at the same time as an extraction. And the extracted tooth was then used to determine the length of the implant that we were going to use, in this case, 13 millimeters long. This length would allow us to engage apical bone well beyond the apex of the root socket. After extracting the tooth, the socket and the lesion were thoroughly debrided with a sharp curette, and it was at this time that a facial perforation was discovered. I then reflected the soft tissue back to expose the lesion, used a slow speed hand piece with a large carbide round burr in order to debride the site completely, and then followed the Han protocol to create the osteotomy while hugging the palatal wall of the socket. A three by 13 millimeter Han tapered implant was chosen and delivered to the osteotomy and the platform was placed approximately one millimeter below the facial crest. It was now time to graft the defects and the area around the implant. I used Newport Biologics Mineralized Cortical Cancellus Blend. The allograft was then rehydrated with sterile saline and then delivered to the site. Here we can see the graft placed in the facial defect and also within the gap around the implant and the crestal bone. Since we were grafting such a large area, I decided to use a resorbable collagen membrane. In this case, it is a 15 by 20 millimeter membrane and we cut it down to size to fit the site and then placed it to cover up the facial defect and then we draped it over the top of the grafted material. The site was closed using PTFE sutures in an interrupted fashion and a removable partial denture was placed for temporization. Here is the final radiograph showing the three by 13 millimeter implant engaging plenty of apical bone beyond the defect. The patient's bone quality uh, was not ideal and therefore we did not attempt to load it right away and instead used a healing abutment. The patient returned in about seven days for suture removal. Here is the soft tissue 
already well on its way to healing. The ovate pontic on the removable partial denture is going to help create uh, the soft tissue contours that we need. In approximately two months, the patient will be brought back. The temporary abutment will be removed. An impression taken at that time for fabrication of a biotemp temporary. This biotemp will then be used to shape the soft tissue for the final restoration, which will then be delivered approximately one to one and a half months later. I hope you enjoyed that short presentation. I look forward to seeing all of you at one of my upcoming Han Dental Implant courses. Thank you. Thanks Dr. Schlesinger for a great case presentation. Be sure to register for one of his courses given at the Glidewell International Technology Center and at other locations around the country coming early 2017. The full line of Newport Biologics includes bone grafting materials as well as membranes and is available from Glidewell Direct. On behalf of everyone here at the lab, thanks for watching Chairside Live and we'll see you right back here next time.